Hey, what's up? Today I want to show you a pretty cool tool that I've been using for kind of automating some of the tweets and stuff I use for Twitter. And it's Hype Fury is the name of it. I'm going to include a link in the description down below. But I'm just going to walk you through kind of, you know, what this is and how it can work for you. So that way you can actually start using it for your business to kind of automate stuff. And you'll see here there's a couple different options on the side. Uh, there's Q, Evergreen Posts, Composure, and history and how each of these works is you're able to set up timing for different tweets to go out uh, so right now you'll see here it says time january 27th uh, 1600 pm uh, that's basically right now it's january 27th uh, but three o'clock uh, so what i'll do here is i'll show you exactly how this works so i'm going to go to my blog um i let's see how about we'll use this one so how to think about and build digital real estate assets. I'm going to just show you just how simple this is to kind of schedule these. So we'll paste it here. And then I'm gonna get the actual link uh, from the blog post. And we'll paste that here as well. And what we'll do is we can add it to the queue. We can save it as a draft. We can post now. Um, I'm going to open up Twitter right now to show you that you know it's not not posted, so I'm clicking profile. Um, so <laughs> this is me actually recommending it three minutes ago, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna post this now. And then it says tweet is on its way. So if I refresh this, you'll see uh, how to think about and grow digital real estate assets with the link to the blog post. So that'll open up the actual uh, article on my personal site so that someone can go and read and learn more. And that was all done relatively quickly. So why is this important? Well, if you understand the value of Twitter and actually creating content on a consistent basis, it's it's very time consuming if you're gonna be you know, creating these articles or creating these tweets over and over again. One thing that's cool is uh, you can schedule a bunch of tweets for a day to go out. Um, hope you're having, whoops. A great day uh, just something like this even I can add it to the queue and you'll see here uh, that'll be posted at 5 p.m. today and I can go in and I can like edit stuff if I spelled something wrong like I hope that you're having a good day that makes more sense grammatically right you can add pictures here um, do I have so this is something cool we'll, we'll put this in here just so you can see what it'll look like and if you have longer messages what you can do is click this and it'll start to create uh, like the threads. So if you have something that's a really long message, um, I'll show you that in another thing here, but we'll update this. And this way someone will see this particular thing with that. Um, actually, I'll add a link to my blog as well, just cause you know, you should always link back to things for you. We'll put that, uh, we'll just put that down here. We'll update that. You'll see here that'll go out at 5 p.m. Uh, evergreen posts, this is, this is probably my favorite part about this. Um, there's certain things that you can do. Uh, so these are different threads that make it really easy for you to have, you know, a bunch of educational things that drive traffic to different offers for you. Um, you'll see here, this one question and it changes everything. It's just like a sales pitch here for a 30 day summit that I promote. And this is gonna automatically, you know, retweet. It's an evergreen post, so it'll go out all the time. You'll see here there's a couple, this one has 11 different messages within the thread. It all pre-sells a book that I promote. It's very valuable. Um, here's one that's just what is a sales funnel and then it leads more into my blog post. And this is all done very simple inside of the composer here. You'll see here I have a couple that I have written that are uh, automatically going out and scheduled and stuff. And I can go in here and I can schedule them. I can delete it or edit the time. Um, but something that I personally use quite a bit is sometimes I'll tweet out something that's kind of useful, like that I think is actually very valuable. And if I go to history and see here, you can display uh, all posts and then you can go back and you can find things that you've done. Like this is how to do Wim Hof breathing method. This is one that I, uh, I lead people to a blog post and I have like tracking and stuff set up so I know where it comes from. Um, 
But all you gotta do is click on a set as an evergreen post and what'll happen is this will you know go back into the queue to start sending, uh, it'll like automatically retweet for you. And I'll show you how this happened for me. Uh, earlier today, I probably had one. Okay, so you'll see here, you retweeted this, you retweeted this. This was all done through the Hype Fury tool. I didn't do anything to do it. Um, but you'll see here, it's got five retweets, 18 likes. And this was posted October 12th. I just put it back into the thing, uh, the Hype Fury like evergreen thing recently. And what you want to do is if you use this and you know, you can in the morning you can log in and you can write out like 10 to 12 tweets for the day, or you could do, you know, a hundred to get scheduled out throughout the week and then just have the tool automate this for you. Just actually like go out and you'll see here like this is sending more people to my blog others are just like motivational stuff uh, so things that are going to further improve your brand um, allowing a tool like this is going to save you a ton of time for that um, so you'll see here this is like another long long thing so i can show you how that works with broken up so let me see here we go so i'll just copy this whole thing so we'll show you what I'm doing copy this and I can paste it into here and it'll break it up into different tweets for me so you can see here when I tweet this uh, I'll break this up so it takes up more space in the newsfeed um, and then all I gotta do is learn more at and then get a link whoops get the full link here Oops, and you'll see what'll happen is this will go out as a thread. So it'll start off as the first one. So did you know that in 2012, I created a video course in a Kindle book? Um, do I have that going out right now? Not yet. So I'll show you the save. Um, we'll close this. I could post now. Okay, so thread is on its way. So now if I reset or I reload the page or refresh it, whatever, um, here it is. So five seconds ago, four seconds ago, so you'll see this opens up a thread. So if I click this, see tool, Hype Fury. Did you know that in 2012 I created a video course in a Kindle book? Um, you see in 2012 I did this. Because of that, every single month I get money, learn more here. And then that was all done like relatively quickly, right? So anytime you upload a new blog post for your business, I, I recommend just plugging it into Hype Fury and setting it as an evergreen, evergreen, evergreen post. You can do that just here under history and we'll set this as evergreen. So periodically this will go out and it'll actually retweet this uh, original one for me. So that way there's some value that's provided. Um, when you do this and you combine it with teaching little things, it's gonna be very valuable for you long-term. So I just wanted to share this tool with you because I found it really valuable. And if you have questions or anything, please ask away in the comment section down below. Um, that's it. And if you want to check out more about my site, go to whoschrishughes.com and you'll learn a little bit more about me. And if you want to get access to Hype Fury, which I highly recommend you do, uh, it's going to be whoschrishughes.com slash Hype Fury, H-Y-P-E. F-U-R-Y, and I'll link that up down below as well. So thanks for watching, and click subscribe if you want to see more.